Sure. Let's do this. I do have a question for you. Sure. When did you start working out? Genuinely, because I, I was thinking about this um, on my way here. I was like, maybe I can go back to like the beginning of my fitness journey. And then I was like, I don't even know what Chris does. <laughs> That's interesting. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I started when I was 16. 16. Yeah. So I've I been, like where at like the local gym. Like or? I just started in my house. Oh, I had house? like some dumbbells and some Walmart protein, which was okay. horrible, by the way. <laughs> I know I have a bias, but yeah, no, that's the, fair. The, the chocolate protein wouldn't even dissolve. <laughs> it wouldn't. It was clumpy. It didn't taste like chocolate, and sure. it was just I had to like power slam it. It was horrible. The label and just said it, protein. <laughs> yeah, and then I had two dumbbells, and I did my, all my exercises with that. Okay. Right, and that's how I got started. And then I bought my own weight rack when I was like 22, and then okay. you add to it over time. And now so I've you got went a for the home on, gym. I do the whole gym thing, but also keep in mind. You know, I do have gym memberships and I sure. still go in because, you know, community is a part yeah. of what I do. Yeah. And then the big thing is I do jujitsu and Muay Thai. Sure. Yeah, that's the like part that. I did know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's very heavily community based more so than, well, performance is a part of it. Yeah. It always is. But I started, yeah, like it's 20 Six. years ago now because I'm turning 36 this year. So oh, it's wow. 20 years ago. Yeah. So when you were 16. When I was 16. So... And okay. then uh, I tried powerlifting in my 20s and got sure. a hernia. Oh, <laughs> so, so now that ended that career real yeah, quick. Yeah, <laughs> so now it's like I'm kind of envious. Uh, a part of me is like, well, screw it, just try and powerlift again and PR yeah. and all that. Sure. Like, go down that path. But now my regimen is more, um, it's more functional based, yeah. it's more general health, it's more. Um, I think more aligned with the conversation that we're going to go in here. Okay, very right? good. Well, fair. Because <laughs> the question I have for you, uh, so my, like I'm a general health kind of goal orientated person, mm -hmm. and you've been working the store for a hot minute. You've seen thousands of customers. You're actually uh, a part of one of the fastest growing stores in the country. You actually have a little <laughs> trophy, a little yeah. shiny thing to show for it. I got it. So I got it at the store. <laughs> so if anybody knows about our clientele, it's you. But what does the average customer look like that's coming into the store? Honestly, right now, the, the average customer looks like anybody. It, honestly, it's anybody. I have yeah. teachers. I have first responders. I have construction workers. I have uh, student athletes right now. Mm. I really do have a multitude of people. I mean, I actually had one customer, crazy enough, he was in his 70s. Uh, he came in looking for some products because he was hiking Kilimanjaro. That's insane. Unreal. That's insane. So, I mean, we were able to help him out and get him some stuff that was going to help him literally climb Mount mm. Kilimanjaro, which is just unreal. And then like what you say just resonates with me so much because I think our average clientele uh, is basically someone with a goal and basically anyone with a goal, whether it's, uh, you know, they're in construction and their goal is just to not feel as, you know, they're, they have leg pain or arm <laughs> yeah, pain or exactly. muscle pain or back pain. So they take a protein, they take a creatine, they might take, um, actually, I do have some products here. <laughs> Uh, all flex, for example, for their joints. Definitely. Right. So, and this is somebody that might not be in the gym. They mm -hmm. might not be lifting or hitting new PRs, but they don't want to feel like they got their butt kicked from, from exactly. work. Right. So they want to be able to come home and then spend time with their family or pain free. Right. Essentially. Yeah. yeah. And it helps prevent injuries as well. Right. Because if you're taking care of, you know, your joints and your bones, it's going to have a ha like happier life, right? Yeah. Healthier life, more function, more mobility. Yeah. And if you think about joint health, it's not just people in construction, right? Hikers, you know, people doing marathons. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's a, it's a supplement that just goes beyond just working out. And a lot of people have that misconception, right? Where they think, you know, you go to a supplement store cause you're a gym bro. Exactly. And you're trying to hit a new PR with your deadlift. Right. And that's still our clientele. And they're very important. Don't get it twisted. But mm -hmm. I just feel like it's so much more than that, right? You mentioned like nurses. That's what I mean. Right? It's, it's so much more than just the regular gym goer. I think there's this misconception um, almost that supplement stores are kind of reserved just for the bodybuilder type or mm. someone who's an avid gym goer five to seven days a week. 
but in reality, it, there's so much more for people at our yeah. store. There's yeah. so much more. Um, so I think that really anybody with yeah. any sort of health related goal can find something at our store to help benefit. I mean, we have greens who doesn't need a little bit of extra greens in their day. Yeah. The vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. Yeah. Me and Pablo I mean, talked about, I think Pablo said 95%. Yep. I've, I've heard the stat 83% of mm. Canadians and Albertans lack vitamin D. Right. It's just an outstanding. So yeah. It's, it's just roughly between 70 and 97. Yeah. Yeah. It's so still a massive it's amount. That's a yeah. huge number. And the goal of like longevity and health, that conversation's changed from when I was 16. It's right. True. When I was 16 and you walk into a supplement store, there's no nootropics. No, no. Right. There's there's no BCAAs. There's no just protein and greens. free workout. <laughs> it's just protein that doesn't mix well and some creatine that at that time everyone's like, is creatine good or bad for yeah. you? Right. No the one was unknowns. really sure. Yeah. And now today it's the conversation around health is just so huge now. It's massive. A pandemic hits and people yeah. are like, wow. A little bit more health conscious now. Yeah, Definitely yeah. taking into account, um, I mean, our immune system. Yeah. That's a huge thing right there. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, the amount of vitamins and minerals we already have at the store, um, I think that could benefit them as well. We even have like an immuno multivitamin. Mm -hmm. Like that's something for literally everybody. Yeah. So if you have a goal, the SK store, again, bias, opinion, <laughs> yeah. but Supplement King is there to assist with that goal and that lifestyle right? Mm -hmm. Whether you're a nurse, construction worker, hiker, right? Doing curling, right? Whether you're 72 or you're 22, there's, there is something for you that's going to fit your lifestyle and help your goal, help you achieve those results that you want, right? It's basically people who don't have a goal. And today, I, I just don't think that's in our social norms, yeah, no. <laughs> right? To not have a goal or try to improve on something or um, I just don't, I just don't I mean, see it. but even so, even if you don't know, we have tons of customers who come into the store who aren't sure what they need. Mm. They know that they have trouble sleeping or they might need, mm -hmm. you know, some help with their energy levels. Mm -hmm. And that's when they come into us and that's when they can get educated. Yeah. So I think that's yeah. a huge thing as well. Yeah. And on, like on that note, right? Like, um, I just picked a couple of supplements here. One of them's collagen and for a lot of people, I think you, like you, I use it myself. Yeah. You take yeah, collagen. So absolutely. why do you take collagen? I mean, for the benefits and the yeah. benefits, of course, um, for me right now, it's for my hair. Mm. Definitely. I mean, it's for my hair, skin and nails, of course, cause it's all a combination. Um, but mostly like I just wanted to, um, my hair was a little bit thin, a little bit dry in the winter time here up in Alberta. It's kind of rough. So yeah, yeah. I need to, I needed to incorporate something else into yeah. uh, my diet. And this is all encompassing and it also helps with joints. So I mean, yeah. the other added benefits. And it's crazy. I take it not? every day and I take it because of gut health, gut health. Mm. And it like helps with your gut. For sure. Right. So it's like, it's, it's funny. We both take the same supplement, but for, for different, different reasons. reasons. Yeah. yeah Absolutely. It's interesting. So that just goes to show like one supplement can actually hit on multiple different goals. Right. Absolutely. So whether it's, um, you know, hair or gut health or even right. for your joints. Right. I know there's yeah. a lot of, um, senior citizens who come into the store, um, mm -hmm. looking for collagen as well, just mm -hmm. to help with, uh, their joints overall yeah. pain. Yeah. That's where I, I, you know, if an older gentleman comes in, I usually talk about a uh, testosterone booster with natural, natural ingredients. So don't get it twisted with like a steroid <laughs> yeah. or something, but something that's a natural ingredient that can help with your hormones, definitely, right? And that becomes a bigger and bigger challenge as you age. So mm -hmm. that has nothing to do with hitting a PR or deadlifting or weightlifting. For sure. But here's somebody with a goal can come in and we can provide some, some value there. Um, another product I have, uh, and it's one that's not often talked about, um, it's a carb supplement. So I, I take it from time to time. I don't mm -hmm. take it as much as I used to, you know, when I was uh, lifting heavier, yeah, I would take it before, I would time it before my lift. And I felt like it, maybe it's pseudoscience, or, <laughs> you know, placebo effect, but it, I felt like it really helped me during my lift and I felt better after as well. Definitely. Right. 
Um, I'm not sure if you ever worked out on an empty stomach, but it's a different experience. Every morning. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. It, I, I intermittent fast in the morning and now I work out in the morning. So I feel, nice. I feel yeah. the pain. Absolutely. Yeah. So for a carb uh, supplement, where, where would that be a fit? Like what goal would someone have for that? I actually had a customer come in the other day looking for this specifically. Their trainer recommended it to them. Um, he said he's currently getting, uh, going on a cut um, and where his carbs have been cut down substantially, again, because he's looking for that uh, fat loss. Mm. He needed a carb supplement that wasn't your necessarily like your traditional carbs. So mm. this is like fast digesting. Mm. So it's going to give him the energy during his workout without the added calories that could potentially get stored. And isn't that like a little bit of a mind twist too, mm. because here's someone trying to lose weight and they're taking a carb supplement? Exactly. That... You don't see that every day. No, of course. I, the I, idea that carbs, you know, equal fat or, and, and weight gain yeah, immediately. Yeah. It's about counting those macros, I yeah. guess, right? There's a lot of misconceptions. There's definitely yeah. a lot of yeah, a lot of myths true. surrounding carbs. Yeah. Yeah. And I I know that that particular product is really popular with like the CrossFit community and stuff. Yeah. Right before a cross, CrossFit tournament, you can just like all of a sudden we sell out of Carboline. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it happens every time. So it, it's interesting. Uh, hikers as well. Yeah. Right. Uh, a lot of hikers, if they're doing long marathons, they might have that gel that has oh, a yeah. lot of carbs in it. It doesn't taste particularly amazing, but you need energy. It's true. Or you're going to run you into need some something. very, yeah, you yeah. need something. And, and not it everybody to wants to eat a yeah. bunch of food or yeah. like this snack. Let me just stop the in the middle of my marathon, have a spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. Right, and I'm back on the road. Right? <laughs> We're good to go. Yeah. Yeah. It's easier said than done. So yeah. I think Carboline, um, and for, there is keto runners too now on for marathon. Sure. So then they have a huge intake of, uh, of fat. So mm -hmm. it's, it's interesting. Goals can get actually quite specific to diet and individual right? These, sure. these goals are very individualized. Here's somebody you just mentioned that was, was trying to lose weight again, and they're yeah. on a carb supplement. That's mm -hmm. very individualized. Exactly. It's all very unique to the individual. Yeah. Um, the next product I have muscle Mac. Okay. Now, uh, for all you bachelors <laughs> out there that don't particularly enjoy cooking, uh, I've actually had the product. It's not like the most, it's not like a luxury meal, but it's a function meal. It is. Right? It's the best. I think it's amazing. <laughs> Jeremy loves the taste. Honestly, it's really good. It, yeah, I on it. I like the taste. I'm just saying, you know, you're not going to get in a, a, an Italian style. <laughs> home, you know, I'm being facetious. Muscle Mac, high in protein, very easy yeah. uh, to make and to eat. What's a good? Um, when would you recommend something like this? You know, fun fact. I actually had a customer come in the other day. <laughs> Um, it was a father of two oh. and his two teenage boys are picky eaters and mm. they are not getting enough protein in their diets. Mm. Um, but he does know that they love craft dinner. Mm. <laughs> so when he came into the store and he checked out Muscle Mac, figured it was a good substitute. That way his kids get some protein. I'm pretty sure he bought 15 boxes. Wow. <laughs> so he definitely got uh, quite a few months supply. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's again easy to make. You can give it to your kids. Protein is just so important. I mean, it's so I, necessary. Man, I wish I wish I started consuming protein uh, earlier. Uh, and th that doesn't mean like I'm seven on a protein shake. Although <laughs> although I'm gonna say Edge 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 has his <laughs> yeah, what, but he's training. Uh, that's he's next training level. A, an that's athlete. Not, yeah, that's <laughs> next level. But I I just wish I just consumed more you know, meats and proteins and yep. stuff like that uh, at an earlier age, I think. I think what it would have been much more beneficial, yeah, especially yeah. for performance. <laughs> Versus the like Walmart style protein 20 years ago. That's rough stuff. I'm sure it's I, improved since then. Since then but I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, the next product I have, uh, Superfoods uh, Greens by Believe. Uh, this is my favorite greens uh, supplement. I, I know all the other vendors are going to hate me for saying it and believe is probably like awesome. We'll use the free marketing here, <laughs> but, uh, this is my favorite greens. It's by far the tastiest formula is pretty good. Uh, it's not, it's actually not my favorite formula. Uh, I okay. have uh, TC nutrition's formula is actually my favorite. Also all max. I don't know why, but I just really love their greens. Formula. Their cyto greens. Yeah. Their cyto greens nice. is amazing. Um, this is a why this is, you can you you can uh, recommend this quite often, quite frequently, right? 
Absolutely. Yeah. It's a top seller at the store right now. Mm. Um, I will go ahead and say it's not my favorite greens. Oh, uh, interesting. TC Nutrition mm. greens are my favorite. I'm more on the the sour side, so their mm. flavors definitely appeal to my taste buds a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the formula on Believe Greens is fantastic, but greens in general, I just think are important. Health. Yeah, yeah. And in terms of uh, recommending, you know, we're talking about lifestyle, we're talking about goals. Yeah. I mean, man, 90 plus percent of people probably don't have enough fruits and vegetables. Exactly. Right. We Greens. don't all have the time to stop and, and eat a salad it's crazy. every few hours, you know. And I, I mean, don't... how many salads do you have to eat before you actually have enough Vitamins greens in and, you? Yeah, in you, I know. <laughs> it's crazy, right? If you go to a restaurant, it's covered in sugary, like... Dressings. Dressings. And, I know. It's, it's insane. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to go. That's all right. That's all right. So uh, greens, uh, you could recommend this to pretty much 90% of people. Vitamin D is a lot like that. Magnesium, mm -hmm. multivitamins. These are all like, I think, baseline function general health products. For sure. Right? But in terms of lifestyle, I mean, I mean, nurses, yeah. The reason I actually started implementing greens into my diet uh, was because I was having really bad bloating problems. Ah. I was bloated all the time. I felt like kind of sick and I was like, I don't know what's happening with my gut health. Mm. Um, but uh, actually one of our coworkers recommended greens to me. Um, and it was about, I wanna say a full three weeks of consistently using it before I started noticing the benefits. Mm. Um, and now I've, I've been using it for two years straight. Wow. Like I haven't stopped using greens. It's a consistent uh, item that I do use. Yeah, I find like my gut just feels so uh, good when I have greens and collagen. Mm -hmm, like it's absolutely. just it's kind of just I, again it's a great combination maybe it's placebo effect but <laughs> who knows <laughs> personally i just feel really great every morning yeah. i take that religiously it helps me uh tremendously and when i have a cheat meal or something which does happen of course i feel like those supplements just make it a little easier of an experience absolutely and you know a lot of these greens uh do contain digestive enzymes mm. so i think that's a big thing that does that also help combat potentially those cheat meals or something, right? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I think the last one I have here, no, I, I got a few, I got oh, a few. Bear there's always me. something. There's always <laughs> something. Uh, the next one I have, so uh, aloe coffee, protein coffee. Um, when would you recommend this product? Uh, well, I mean, it's great to add to your coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so I mean, coffee drinkers absolutely. that might not have When you're on the protein, go, yeah. Yeah, it's a it quick sense. little um, way to flavor your coffee. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. And as well, you're getting a little bit of extra protein in there. Mm -hmm. You can do it post-workout, pre-workout. So can I ask you a question? Yeah. Should women have more protein? Should women have more pro more protein than men? or, or No, just, no, just like, are, are they eating enough are, protein? Because I read about it and I'm like, that makes let's sense. Let's call the women. women. I don't know. Let's have, ask them. And I know one woman can't speak on behalf of all women, but sure. like... From me, it makes complete sense. Yeah, protein's gonna help you lose some lose some fat, right? It'll lean you out a little of bit. It works your, you know, it, it kind of makes your um, metabolism work a little harder, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it's making sense to me. Do you take pro like a lot of protein? I mean, personally for myself, yes, I do try to incorporate as much protein as I can, regardless of where it is. Um, but in general, I don't think people in general yeah. Men or women. I don't think people are taking enough protein yeah, yeah. Um, just to reach their goals, mm. you know, just in general. And it gets back um, to like, yeah, it's still individualized. Sure. Maybe someone's eating a lot of meat in their day-to-day -day diet. And okay, they're, of course. she's probably fine on the protein intake. But yeah. if she's not eating enough, maybe aloe coffee. Absolutely. Something to recommend. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. The last item I have here. Jeremy, how are we doing for time? <laughs> Really Excellent. Okay. Uh, the last item I have here is uh, a sugar-free barbecue sauce. It's been in the store for a hot minute. Uh, I feel like we've been we've it's we've been nationally sold out of this. <laughs> we've we've it comes and goes. There's been a lot of sauces come and go on our shelf, but guys, barbecue sauce, the original. I mean, it's the OG that's been on the shelf forever. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, it does come in multiple flavors as well. So you do have your choice. You can pick yeah. whatever you Thanks, like um, for all the people who have different flavor preferences. 
It's fantastic. It's a good meal prep option. It's perfect for barbecue season. Yeah. So I know like the spring's coming up. That's when everyone gets pretty excited about barbecue season. Yeah. So uh, even even the guy works his construction job, whatever. Oh yeah, for he's sure. He's still trying to make sure he's healthy. He comes home. He puts on a little barbecue. Yeah. You know, you can't just use any sauce. Some of these sauces are just loaded with sugar. Definitely. Not super great for your kids. Yeah. Think about it. Not super it's great true. for yourself. Here's a great option to kind of avoid all that sugar. Sugar free. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, is there anything we're missing? Is there anything? Let's clear off the table and then we'll just finish off just because it's getting kind of cluttered. We're crowded. Here we go. And then you guys can continue on. Cool. Is there anything we're missing? Is there anything we haven't covered? Any particular goals hmm. maybe we should consider or? I mean, I think we touched on it a little bit earlier. We did mention um, we do have some natural testosterone boosters um, to help with our like hormone balance. Yeah. But we also have uh, balanced powders and uh, capsules for women as well when it comes to balancing out hormones, estrogen levels, which I also think is very important too. Yeah, yeah. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't want to mansplain here. <laughs> but if that you should consider if you are on birth control you should consider uh you should do a little bit extra digging around before taking any for sure and i mean like i always recommend to my customers it's important to reach out to your doctor have conversations around your hormone levels there's tests you can get done yeah, blood tests Ex yeah. exactly and yeah. that way your doctor can recommend certain products or give you the okay for certain products yeah. something i do recommend to customers as well if they're unsure i just get them to take a picture of the product and when they go see their doctor they ask them if it's going to perhaps like mix with um one of their medications or something mm. along that side yeah i really like that i really like that and it just gets back to again these goals are very individualized 100 percent. but if you have a goal you should probably come into the store and we can give you sound recommendations and we one thing i really try and coach on is trying to remove our own bias for sure right uh, you see it a lot a lot with our uh newer staff where maybe they have a monetary bias they're mm -hmm. concerned about what the customer can afford or not definitely but i know for some customers if they could lose 20 30 pounds in a year and it costs them whatever that is yeah. x amount and that x amount might be expensive to you but to them i mean that's the best investment worth they've ever all. made yeah so one we always try and coach on on bias so anyway long <laughs> story short trying to bring all this in i don't think we missed anything no, I mean, again, there's so many areas to cover. There's so many things, so many variables in a person's life. Um, but I do think that we covered the gist of it, the majority of it. Mm. Um, and I think we did highlight some items that really do show it is for everybody. There is mm -hmm. something for anybody to help improve their life. On that note, too, be aware, uh, emergency services personnel, mm -hmm. they do have a special Supplement King account. It's the uh, elite account, yeah. right? So make sure that if you're an emergency services person and you're coming into the store, you're getting that discount. You're getting that special account. It's just for emergency services personnel only. So make sure that you're communicating with the representative or uh, just before you come to the store, you can also search it and, yeah, and apply online as well. So just be aware of that. Um, and we always occasionally put up the link to do that on our, on our Instagram. Yeah, so we sure do. be aware of that. Uh, we'll end on this. Uh, if you have a goal, right, it's probably super individualized. And that's why we train our staff to ask good questions and uh, make it personable. So if you have a goal, come into Supplement King. We're here to fuel your goals. That's our whole purpose is to add value to you. With that said, we'll see you in the store soon. Thank you for your time. Take care.